Hey, how's it going? This is Martin Ross, and today we're going to be doing polychaining with the Model D. Uh, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that alert button so that way you get the freshest video straight to your phone. What we're going to do is right now we're going to be focusing on just the idea of hardware part, not the USB, but the hardware part. The hardware part gets kind of confusing, so I want to make sure people know how that hardware part hardware part works. So um, I'm only going to use the uh, number one uh, synthesizer real quick, the, just one Model D right now, so that way we could um, understand the basics. So let's talk about the settings or what we call the uh, operations. So the operations work five seconds after you've started your Model D. So turn it off, turn it on, then do the operations, and then it should be set. Okay, so let's talk about the operations. We have multi-trigger. Multi-trigger means that um, when you go from note to note, uh, it depends on how the envelope envelope changes. So if it's off, which is de the default, that means that there's a legato fill. That means that the envelope continues from the note it started on. Now when the multi-trigger is off, that means that when you play a new note, then the envelope restarts. All right? So the note priority. So the note priority means that whatever note you play, if it's low, it'll play only the low notes after the note. If it's high, only the notes higher, not lower than the note you started. So let's so that, let's do the example here. So default should be uh, low only. So here we go. So I'm hitting the high note. It's not working. Now let me hit a low note. So any note below that note works. Any note that is above it doesn't. So if you do it the high, it's the same thing. Then you have last. What last is means whatever note you last left on, you can sh switch. I much prefer last if you're doing a mono lead. Okay, polychain. The, the most important part is polychain. Polychain, all that means is that you could play the more notes at the same time. Unfortunately, I only have two Model Ds, so I can only play two notes at the same time. Typically, the best um, option is to have four Model Ds, so that way you can play four chords. Typically, most songs use four chords or four notes to make uh, seventh chords there. All right? So let's get into it. So how do we make the operations work? So we're going to turn off the Model D. So the first setup is uh, the multi-trigger. So the multi-trigger, how to do it, it's on, off. So you hit on, off as soon as it starts. Here we go. All right? You see two fast blinking lights. That means multi-trigger is now on. To turn it off, we're going to turn this off. Then we're going to do on, off again. We're going to repeat the same process. So just repeat what you did the first time to turn it on and off, okay? You got to do it a few times. I messed up a lot. So there we go. Now we're going back to multi-trigger uh, off. So the settings go low, high, last for note priority without software. So I'm going to go to the next step should should be, if I'm right, should be high. So we're going to do on, off, on. Here we go. So when you see three flashing lights, that means it works. So I'm going to hit a high note, and if it works, and we're right. All right, we're right. Okay, so now let's go to last. I, I much prefer last. So we're just going to repeat the process on, off, on. Okay, got it. Three flashlights. So. Perfect. And that's what I want. So now I'm going to turn on my second Model D, and then we're going to polychain it. All right. So the importance is, is that this right here that you're seeing right here, this is number one. And then the next one is number two. Now, I've already zoomed in and showed you how to do it. So I'm going to kind of zoom out so that way you can see me work it fully. Okay, guys, so configurations. That's going to be huge. Everybody wants to know how to configure it. So make sure that you just keep your high end on both of them to your channel. So I just have this, each one, to channel six and channel seven on my um, uh, audio gear, whatever you want, one, two, doesn't matter. And then I make sure that number one has 
the MIDI controller right here. The MIDI controller is being controlled by my keyboard. And then I'm going to take this through and then put it to the input of the second one. And then you're just going to kind of loop that for um, more um, synthesizers. I only have two guys, sorry, but I'm just showing you the idea. All right. Now that we have it on, this is the master controller. So this is going to tell this uh, guy right here when to work. So to do that, we're going to do it four times. Now, just a heads up, this might mess up a few times. It does that a lot. All right, so I got four fast blinking lights. Now, to hear the polychain in action, I panned it, I stereoed it, made it right and left, so that way you can get an idea. So four fast blinking lights means it's on. And so there you have it. Those are the two notes at the same time. So that's how you do it with the hardware, guys. Let's move on to USB. All right, guys, I have the USB ready. So the link is all in the description how to get this. Um, if you have a laptop or something like that, this makes it a lot easier to do. So let's get click. Once we're plugged in, we hit get started. So now you can see how um, the what we last left it on with Poly. I went ahead and said uh, have the multi trigger on, but let's restore the default settings so you can see what it looks like. So for me personally, I like to keep it last. Now, if you look on your um, your Model D, sometimes you'll see the lights flashing. So that means that it's communicating with the Model D, telling you that it's uh, storing the information. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's a hit or miss. But um, make sure if you want to select your um, how you want it to be played, you're going to hit Disable first. It gets kind of confusing for me. It, it, I was kind of lost for a minute there. But um, you'll hit disable first sometimes, then slide to polychain. All right, it'll know how many, obviously the max you could do is 16. It'll know by default uh, how many you have. It knows I got two, so it's already set up. So I want to do it poly, then I click enable. Now it's going to keep it that way till you change it later. Right there and so that's just the really the easiest part about the USB everything's right there ready to go um, like I said all the settings are in your general and in your poly chain you just click where you want and it's set to go all right guys and that will do it that's just the basic overview of how to do your hardware and USB before I head out please check out my sound library source source of sound library for contact reason and machine if you buy the original version all expansions are half off, so please check it out. Link in the description. Also, check out Delio T2K's Massive. If you like his beat you makes, you'll like the sounds. That's also in the link description. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching me. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button so you can get the newest uploads straight to your phone. Please, please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have questions. And most important, share. Thank you, guys. This is Martin Ross. Take care.